to be told, you know, that Harry Josiah case emanated out of the this Ministry of um, Transportation. Hmm. My understanding, it was um, Dean Jonas who pursued that litigation without any involvement of the cabinet members. I don't think that his um, senior minister at the time knew. He employed the services of Mr. Kem Warner to do an investigative report. That report, as I recall, went on for nearly a year. And it's a cabinet that discontinued it. Mm -hmm. So our very action years ago in which we discontinued the investigative report showed that my government had absolutely no interest in that litigation. Uh, so, you know, this claim of victimization is nonsense. You know, I mean, uh, as I said, the cabinet intervened long ago. Unfortunately, it was already um, taken to court and um, we don't get involved in issues of the judiciary. Uh, in fact, I can tell you too that um, Kem Warner eventually um, turned against the administration. I don't know if his political posture is still the same, but because we discontinued um, the investigation, uh, he became an unhappy camper. And um, I, I, I believe that he's our support of the UPP. Room. That's the irony of it. Mm. I may be wrong. I stand corrected. Mm. But here's a situation in which we said we had no interest in that litigation. We discontinued the investigation. And the investigator turned against us. <laughs> so, you know, again, we don't victimize. And yes, you know, we had a, a, a couple of cases. I felt they were a little unfortunate. Even the one with um, Serpent and DJ Eliza. I'm on public record from the onset that I didn't think that um, they should have gone to court um, with them. And it's not them saying that they did not do anything wrong. But, you know, the court system is here. And, um, you know, uh, I, I just felt that it didn't make any sense. It wasn't worth it. And um, again, Minister Michael Brown went outside the ambit of the cabinet because when that matter was raised in the cabinet, he was told not to pursue it. Hmm. And the cabinet never made any monies available to it. And I'm sorry if you think I'm joining you under the bus, uh, Minister Michael Brown. Well, sorry, people must know what the facts are. Mm. Minister Michael Brown then went to the Board of Education and took money some day and did uh, get a firm or the candidate to do the investigation. The cabinet had no knowledge. Mm. By the time we found out about it, it was a fair to complete. Is but when the matter was brought to our attention, we told him to leave it alone. Okay.